Hey guys, how's it going? So, two new characters came out, uh, Bihu and Emil Furious, and let's just get right into it. So, Bihu. Um, I tried two builds on them, and I have them on Grace of Growth right now. Uh, you pretty much have to max this because you want the extra attack, uh, and the defense, I guess, is nice. The S3, you're probably not really going to get too many of these in a fight, I would say. Um, and the S1, it just increases the damage dealt. Doesn't really matter too much because you're just trying to do burns anyway so the initial hit doesn't really make that much of a difference artifact um you can use his own artifact but i think you're doing that if you're trying to make like a fast bihu that's like for a cleave or really big aggro kind of setup but since i'm not doing that i'm using seal of capture i also don't have that artifact so i guess it makes it a little bit difficult um so I tried two builds with Bihu. I tried the faster one. I didn't go super fast, right? Like an opener. I went like only like 268 speed or something, but then I had about 100 effectiveness and 5,000 attack. Tried that build out. It felt incredibly lackluster overall. It didn't really like it. I feel as though Bihu doesn't truly combo with that many teams overall. And if you wanted to use him in a cleaver aggro setup, you need his own artifact, and I think you need to make him pretty much the opening. You need to make him incredibly fast. Some people I saw were even trying Guiding Light on him, but the problem is, if you do Guiding Light, his only damage is from a one-turn detonation on one burn, which is really small. That means he basically doesn't do any damage himself, so he's just kind of like an opener, but do you really need to use B who is the opener for that? I'm not really convinced, it feels kind of awkward. Before this character came out, I looked at them on paper and thought, the character doesn't seem very good. The damage numbers are not amazing either, it seems really really hard to use, I don't see how this is really going to work. After trying them out on the 5000 attack, um, like 268 speed build, I was like, I don't see how this character works, they seem very weak. But after swapping to this one, I think Bihu has a little more potential when you build them slower like this. Um, very tanky, they actually do an okay amount of damage every single turn with their S1 detonation. Assuming they get this burn, that's basically three total burns that they're exploding because this is a two turn burn. Um, if you're able to get attack buff on Bihu, that's great. And they move slower than a character like Emil Kowarik, so he can just strip the buffs off, which is actually really cool. I like that he has such an annoying ability. It's almost like a Pirate Flan sort of situation where Pirate Flan will just keep spamming her attacks or something like that every single turn right here but instead of a bomb you're doing burns which is a lot worse but i do think that he's doing pretty decent damage um from overall my testing bihu just seemed kind of not amazing uh i don't really see the point of using him overall compared to a character like carrot carrot may do less damage in total possibly because carrot has to use their s3 and then detonate the burns before your opponent cleanses or something, but Carrot has way more burst potential, and I felt like that was more important most of the time. However, I did try a match with Bihu and Carrot, because Bihu actually increases all burn damage by 30%, so that buffs allies, and that was kind of cool, but I don't really think Bihu is super necessary in that circumstance. Um, I think that there's not enough characters that burn that are actually good, so it makes it very difficult, and maybe as more get released, Bihu could become even stronger. But I will say, I found Bihu to kind of just be a whatever character. Not really too amazing, but I'm going to try them out a more tomorrow, I think, doing this build. Um, I'm not super hopeful that they're going to be really amazing, but they're a little bit awkward. Do keep in mind also that Bihu and Emil Furious and the artifact that comes with Bihu are not allowed in RTA until the end of the season because it's just about the end, so I had to do everything in mock battles. So just keep that in mind that uh, I didn't get to test out in the field against just random people. This was against uh, people in a lobby. So this is Bihu. Now let's talk about uh, Emil Furious here. Emil Furious, Peacemaker Furious here. Um, this is the build I put on them, 2,100 defense, 293 crit damage, about 200 speed, uh, triple S them, and I didn't max this out, definitely missing some molas there, but honestly this ability doesn't hit super hard, but I did max this out because I felt like you kind of had to. I'm all furious. I don't think this character is very good at all. Um, I think their damage is way too low, I think they require way too much setup, and you know what I realized is... When it really comes down to it, this character is just Yuna, basically. Yuna's S2 buffs the team, and she gives speed buff and attack buff to the team. 
uh, Sirius gives extra turn and Fury and speed buff to the whole team. Well, not Fury, but speed buff to the whole team and then Fury just to himself. A bit selfish, I think. If it, instead of speed buff, it was like defense buff, I think Peacemaker Furious would be a lot cooler. Um, and they're a focused unit that eventually builds up to a big AoE attack. But the thing is, I think Yuna actually does more damage, and I think she supports the team a little bit better, and she's also a ranger, so you can also put her on Guiding Light. The only problem is she hits an AoE, so it's easier for her to get countered, but it just kind of feels like a similar thing. Um, some problems with Furious. One, I think the damage is too low. I think with just Fury, it's not that great. I think you need something like Defense Buff to amp them up. And you could say, well, just run a Defense Buff with them. Well, there's not that many Defense Buffers that are really used the moment i mean there's like ross and alencia they don't see a ton of use i guess you could use someone like t Crosset or something too i guess doris possibly but one other problem with it is if you give the defense buff before furious's turn then he s2s s1s and loses the defense buff so that kind of sucks so you have to have a unit that's slower than furious so maybe i should speed them up a little bit maybe put them to like 220 speed or at least 210 or something like that go before someone like Alencia and then get the defense buff after. But another problem, you have to soul burn this. Um, because if you don't, it's only a 40% chance. Because you want to ideally S3, S1, and the S1 hits twice, and then you S3 uh, when you wrap around to get the next turn. But if you don't get that, then kind of just wasting time, and Furious's S1 is incredibly weak. Even when it hits twice, it feels like the double hit is as strong as just most characters' regular S1 for a DPS unit too found it very disappointing um i think that they don't support the team enough and i don't think they do enough damage uh they can kill something like a spectre to neighbor in the back line which is great but so can landy and some other characters that do aoe as well so i just find that furious really isn't all that needed and is really hard to use uh just needs some way of getting defense buff easier, some sort of change, or, I mean, their base defense is really bad. I tried to build this character basically only for damage, and this is all I could really scrape together. Sure, it's not the best gear on my whole account exactly, but still, you shouldn't have to put the best gear on your account for a character to just kind of do their job decently. So I would say Furious is not really worthwhile going for, and honestly, I was debating, god, should I even go for this character? I got lucky. Got them, but... I don't really recommend it for most people, I think. One last thing I would definitely like to talk about also with Bihu. Uh, I got reminded of talking about Furious there. Bihu's S1 is a 50% chance for the detonation. You'll always put the burns on, but it's a 50% chance to use uh, the special version of this attack, Cinerate, and that's the detonate, which I think is really dumb. So basically, if it doesn't detonate, you didn't do anything a lot of the time. Sure, the character will take their turn and they'll take damage, but a lot of the time you're fighting people, they're gonna have some sort of cleanser in some way. If your opponent just picked zero cleansers against uh, you picking debuffers, well, usually it means they drafted wrong or something. You outdrafted them so hard in the draft or something, right? Um, so you usually have to soul burn this. Otherwise, you're just risking a 50 50 every time. It's kind of like Furious, but. Who can't hold book or anything, so do you need a book holder ally all the time? Or do you just have to have so much soul generation? It makes it really awkward. I think a character like Bihu has so much RNG because this burn can be 15%ed, this burn can be 15%ed, not to mention I don't have this maxed, so that's actually a 20% chance it won't even land, right? Um, this can be 15%ed, and then you have to soul burn this, otherwise you're relying on a 50% every single time just so much rng related in a character like this that it feels like why don't you just get a character that does a reliable big hit does a lot of damage and it's the same with furious right um you have to soul burn his s1 and then you also need a defense buffer so you need like all this extra help just to make a character do their job when you look at so many others like let's say lionheart sermia and they're so self-sufficient they do everything themselves and you could say well that's an ml5 and uh these aren't ml5s but like it's not really good reasoning. Like, sure, you could go for the budget option, but that's not really going to make you happy most of the time. And realistically, most of the people you're fighting are not going to be using the budget option as you climb high mirror, right? You kind of want the best possible thing, and you have to compare these units to what the best is, right? Kind of like how back when Hua Young was completely overpowered, every unit that came out, people would go, well, it's not Hua Young. <laughs> like, you kind of have to have a frame of reference for each of these characters, and I feel as though... Bihu and Furious have some problems to them. Bihu really needs an attack buffer and souls. 
Yours really needs a defense buffer in souls, so I guess they're kind of alike in those ways. Um, I do feel like Bihu might have a little more potential than a character like Furious. They had some team help. The push is nice, and being able to strip the opponent buffs, that's good. And they're actually really bulky on their own. They don't have to run Guiding Light if you build them like this, which is kind of nice. And I think Furious requires a lot more help. Also, uses focus, so stuff like Solitario is going to destroy him. And defense buff isn't really good versus... Uh, or being a defense scaling unit isn't great versus all the defense pens. So if he gets caught out for a second, he's going to die. At least be who you can build a little bit tankier. But that's kind of my synopsis on both of the units. I don't really recommend people go for either of them. I am going to be trying Bihu a little bit more tomorrow. Just to really make sure, like, maybe a build like this actually is okay. But I think with such a debuff heavy meta already, people are so prepared to fight against debuffs that someone like Bihu is not going to perform nearly as well as compared to, like, Pirate Flan will. And, like, the bomb and the stun is just such a big deal that I just don't see how Bihu can truly survive in the meta. Anyways, that's kind of my thoughts on the characters. Um... For the rest of the video, I'm going to have some clips of me doing the lobby battles because, you know, the characters are banned in RTA until the end of the season. Sorry, I can't get some uh, real games out in there. But I uh, had some success with some of the battles and then others, they were looking really bad. But anyways, hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to leave a like or subscribe to the channel. And I hope to see you guys next time. What a hassle. Um... I think Furious actually might have the highest attack here. Can he even do his double hit thing? Oh my god, she is the highest. Wait, that did so much damage. How many pulls for Furious? It actually took me 20. I got like, insanely lucky. Oh, this Karina is actually gonna die. This has got to kill, right? He literally can't even kill. Oh, oh, oh! That's an injury Mercedes. He didn't stealth. Um... So we're gonna do this. So he's injury Mercedes, injury Belion, and then death dealer Ray. That's interesting. We didn't stealth, which is pretty lame. We're gonna get so many stacks of this on. Actually, we won't get too many because she can't just S2 me, but. Yeah, he can't actually stack the stuff right now. Let's get immunity. And now, Furious, with the power of a thousand suns. Let's see the damage here. That's his team's health bar right there. Do you smell that? That's I mean... That was like, you know, decent. That, that was not too bad. Um... I didn't have defense buff, but like... Uh... I don't know. I'm not sure I trust the amount of damage that was done right there. That looked all right, though. Yeah, he didn't really have a crazy amount of tankiness on the right side. Like, the blind was really squishy. Like, look at his S1 here. Does this kill with just one hit? It doesn't. Uh, I don't know. He did it all right amount there, though, overall. Wow, he's even got Bastion on it. <clears throat> okay, you know what? It's gonna seem weird I do this. But I just kind of feel like I want the immunity. Doesn't this mean Guiding Light does nothing? No, it, it Guiding Light's gonna actually be really useful here. Because you see... One of my characters isn't gonna proc Guiding Light. And it's going to look really impressive suddenly. 
just you wait. Just give me a minute. Let me cook here for a second. Reset, please. Nice. Please play Zemo Furious Stealth. Oh, dear God. Okay, he got enlightened. I didn't want him to be the only one without it. Alright. Wait, he just took two turns and lost the immunity, bro. He can't keep any buff in the game, dude. He, like, literally can't keep any buff. That's very unfortunate. Wait, please cut it out. Don't hurt me. He has to stop Landy, though. So we got that going for us. Wait... But he's gonna kill and push back. Bro, I can't even, like... I just want Furious to do something. Am I a bad person for wanting that? Wait, he has to attack them. <gasps> they didn't stealth. Wait. Oh my god. This is the match right here. This is it. Get him. Get him, Furious. Put him in the ground. Oh my god, he actually did a decent amount of damage. The four guiding light team. Wow. Alright, uh, he actually did kind of decently there and he took out S10A. What? So it pushes back. It didn't push back. Wow. Cool. I'm gonna do this anyways, whatever. I'm over it. Oh, that was a lot of damage, actually. Oh wow, that actually didn't land like anything. That designer little bit didn't even proc. What? Uh that's kinda weird. It's gonna hurt. That defense break too, kinda nasty. What's the damage like here? Oh, it's terrible because we didn't even why is this S1 a 50% chance to work? Why would you build a whole character around a 50% chance to do anything? Who greenlit this character? Why would you do such an infuriating thing? Oh my god. Why? It's the same with Furious. If you don't soul burn it, it doesn't work. Oh man. Dude, it's... If you make a whole character around they have to soul burn their S1, just don't make the character. Just just don't even try. <laughs> Be who seems to be too shit for the actual meta. That's kind of what it feels like. But no, normally they make male characters pretty good. It's not fun if it's not random. Your <laughs> emperor? Should have made him into a mage if they want him to soul burn his S1. He's forced to have to use a specific artifact, and then he's really awkward, too. You think if the meta was different, B, who could have a chance? Not really. Oh god, I'm dead. Please kill. It should, right? 
Okay, Bihu's getting another turn. Watch out, guys. This turn, for sure, Bihu's gonna pop off. Watch, watch this. Soul burn. We could use it on her, but we don't care about that. We care about using it here. Hey, pretty good, you know? Not bad, right? What am I guiding line drafting against Kron with one cleaving? <laughs> Is that the strat? Okay, here's the big problem with uh with Behu. Let me let me tell you guys. They took a key component out of his skill set and they made it into an artifact ahead of time. It's important to know one's place. Why did they do that? This is gonna burn a little. He should just automatically land those like those burns should be part of his skill set. And it's okay to have the burns be partially RNG, but the detonation being RNG. Let's just get this over. Let's see if this burn combo works. I'm assuming she is the highest attack. This way. Receive. He doesn't have souls or anything, fortunately. Oh my god. All right, let's do this. <laughs> my health bar. I can't. If you're scared, run. You know what? Check this out. I don't even care. Check this out. I don't care. Wow, yeah, he did hit two fire. That kind of hurts. It's fine. Do we even care about that? No, we don't. Bihu is about to pop off so hard. Push the team? Wait. Parrot might actually do an insane amount of damage here. Hold on. Wait, this might actually work pretty well. More burns, yes. I'm just gonna finish this thing off. How much does this do? 21,000 damage because Bihu increases burn damage by 30%. Oh my god. Wow, that did half her health bar from the burns. Dude, the burns that Bihu puts down, honestly, pretty good. Like, Bihu's about to do an S1 soul burn. Oh my god, she died from the burn. Wait. Okay, that didn't kill, but... Wow. Honestly, Bihu is actually doing pretty well right here for damage. He survives a lot of punishment, too. I don't see how I can kill this thing right now. I don't think it's possible to kill it. Unless... Attack buff. Oh my god. <laughs> 46 health. <laughs> He's at full health now. Cool. Um, damn, we have to wait one turn? That's not gonna work. Oh boy. He is sober, and that's the real problem. Take this. He didn't land the defense break. But that did so much damage that I don't think it matters. Um. Oh, 15% effectiveness. That's too much. Who's gonna die 
But we do get to do this with Carrot. He has Soul Burn too, though. I don't think I can. Wow, he's really gonna just like barely survive that thing. Oh my God! Those burns are crazy. Literally almost one shot him just with two burns. Yeah, okay. Uh that's a lot of health. Shall I test my theory? 10,000. So Carrot's not going to take too much damage. Well, I mean like realistically, right? Like <laughs> Damn, I think I die here. Yeah. Damn, Bihu didn't work. I mean, he worked, but then he didn't. 